So I want to move on because a, a disturbing new study finds a number of pregnancies are being misdiagnosed as miscarriages. And apparently this new study looked at 3,000 pregnant women in Britain whose doctors believed that they were going to miscarry. Um, and it turns out that a number of them, 549 of those initial miscarriage diagnoses, um, of that number, 19 were wrong. One wrong diagnosis there, devastating, just because of the, obviously the mental anguish that that might cause. Really important topic, and any woman who's experienced this with their OBGYN or their provider knows how stressful it can be. On the other side, we stress about it also, because this can be a difficult clinical assessment to make. We basically go by a couple of parameters. Number one, what we see on ultrasound. Number two, what the pregnancy blood test shows, because a lot of times women will come in waving the plastic stick and say, I just got a positive urine pregnancy test. Then we need to correlate that with dating, when her p last period was, if she knows that, what we see on Sano, and what the blood hormone level is. A lot of times, those three points of information don't match up. And so a lot of times, unfortunately, as this study pointed out, a, a woman will be told this is either non-viable, this is a miscarriage, a threatened miscarriage, and then what's worse then is the risk of being told we have to go straight to the operating room for a DNC and finish this off. I will tell you, as a board-certified OBGYN, I don't know that in 15 years I have ever had a case where there has been an emergency to go to the OR and do a DNC. So if you're ever in this situation, you should feel completely within your rights to say, can we wait? Can we follow this up? Can we repeat so, the sano, repeat the blood test? And a lot of times, and I have seen this, what we thought was non-viable or a threatened miscarriage turns into a healthy pregnancy. Not always, but it happens. And you're saying the tests available to you are not 100%. It's not, it's more than that they're not 100% true. It's that our ultrasounds now are so precise. Our blood tests are so precise. And a lot of times, we, remember what we're looking for on sonogram can be millimeters in size. And if the machine is not right, or the technician or the doctor doing the test is off, or the positioning is off, you might miss something. So there's always the option of repeating it in a week and, and, and there's following something it. something so important to distinguish here, which is if you're given a diagnosis of a miscarriage, it's very different than a diagnosis of a threatened miscarriage. And it's so important to also just ask the question, you know, what does that mean? As opposed to, you, you, you hear that word miscarriage, and don't necessarily hear the word threatened, and you don't know what you're dealing and with. And again, you have time. As long as the woman is not hemorrhaging, yep. bleeding, you have time. So you should always feel comfortable to say, can we wait and repeat this in a week?